Seneca, he wrote an essay on the shortness of life um, around 65 AD and he says that it's not that we have a short time to live, it's that we waste so much time. And when it now comes to the shortness of life and that apparently it seems like it's not the time in a way that is running out, it is the time that we are wasting not achieving anything the time that we are investing something actually but without doing anything and there now it doesn't even come from the buddhist teachings but lao tzu a teacher from uh, taoism let me see if i can put this sentence together but literally or he said it is better to remain calm and do nothing while achieving nothing than doing a lot and investing a lot of effort and energy and at the end not achieving anything. Yeah? So already in that sentence it means that it is possible that you are investing effort, that you are investing parts of your life, but eventually nothing of that somehow is going to remain with you. And now from the Buddhist perspective, what I can see is that my parents, they got old. A part of my elder generation, meaning my grandfathers and my grandmothers, some of them are not even alive anymore. So what I definitely can witness what I can see is there is something that we just call impermanence. Impermanence meaning nothing stays as it is. So even lots of achievements that we think that we are building up in this lifetime, even that one eventually will disappear. So now Knowing this, knowing that this time that we at this moment call as life has a limited time frame, that in a way this time is limited, that there is a certain degree of actions that you can put into this lifetime. Out of these thoughts, I just think one of the main questions to ask yourself is what would you like to do with the rest of the lifetime that you still have available right now? So, and this is the same for everyone. Uh, I think, for example, I'm almost going to the 40s. So just imagining I would become 80. That means half of my life, half of the time is gone already. In case you are in the mid-20, mid-20, hopefully you're gonna live like 100 years. So three times more to go. But no matter what, there will be the time that is going to run out in a way. Or let's say, will you only have that remaining time where you're still possible to do something about the lifetime as you know it right now. Let's call it like this. And so, of course, ultimately what arises is the wish not to waste this lifetime. So there it suddenly starts with, but what does it mean to not waste? It means doing a lot, thinking that you are doing a lot, but ultimately there is no real outcome. This is the type of actions I would definitely try to avoid in this lifetime. So now the question is, but how can it be? So how does it actually happen that people are doing a lot of things, but ultimately maybe you really come out with nothing in your hands? That can only mean that something in the way of how you handled life and how you handled your actions is not in alignment. It's either 
not in alignment with what you are wishing or it's not in alignment with what this life is wishing for you. So in order to not waste time, number one is be sure about your intentions. This is something I have in my hands. So that means every action that I do, uh, I want to bring purpose into the things that I do. And for example, I know we have like a conversation right now, and this is why I want that we have a conversation, first of all, without our mouth getting too dry, but at the same time, like also uh, just having in a way a good time. And that's why part of this is, that's why I just prepare tea while we're having this talk. So that means I don't do these things empty. I didn't prepare the tea. I didn't like just take any tea. I want that this time that we are right now, for example, spending together, that it is a, a quality time. And this is what I have in my hands. Yeah. So, and this is for me that expression of how do you bring value, quality into your lifetime? Well, you need to fill it up with that quality. And what is it that is determining the quality? It is the intention, because this intention is creating that quality. Yeah, I hope somehow that makes sense, but makes like sense. these are like the thoughts at least when when I hear it um, that come to my mind. And yes, it it could be, it could be. I'm not sure yet. I don't know that time itself is not limited. Time itself is not limited but that we perceive this time frame in the way of what we call my life, your life. That one definitely is limited. Time itself maybe is not limited, but the way how we have the chance to perceive it for ourselves, that one. I think